Welcome back, everybody. Dren6 White Plays. We're playing Baldur's Gate 3 here. Um, I need to level these guys up because we all went up a level. So I'm going to run around and do that real quick here. Seems like a good moment to talk. The sooner we get out of this Gith Warren, the better. Hey, me, I met a monster from the swamp. He was looking for you. Some moonrise towers. I need you in my party. Will you travel with us? Perhaps, if you lost a follower or two. I prefer to travel in smaller groups. It's more intimate. So we'll trade out with Excellent. Will. Now that that's settled, lead on. Okay, then... I really dislike that I have to put them in my party to level up. It seems to be really wasteful, time-wise. So the one thing I didn't understand is, like, once I'm back at camp, why can't I just level them up? So we got to take up our Starion. So he's got... Skills? So he didn't get a whole lot. He can change his skills? Oh, he can change this. No, deception, persuasion. That's pretty much where I wanted that stuff. Okay. Just leave that alone. Replace spell. I don't know what spells he has. He's got the chromatic orb. Sky Self, which he needs. Ice Knife, which is a damage spell, and Hideous Laughter, which is a control spell. And this is sort of a damage spell. So I kind of like those two. So we'll just uh, not do that. Uh, how do we get out of this? Just accept what he's got, I guess. Sterian's done. Um, let's go talk to Karlak. We gotta level her up. Oh, not you. Me. Never a dull moment. Gotta go talk what to Karlak. Discussion. Looks like we're done here. Pity. This place has been a wild ride. We're not quite done. Here are those patterns of tear for you. I never actually told her that, did I? You did? Wow. That was sound of you. Why'd you do it? They were agents of a devil. I wasn't going to let them roam the area unchallenged. You're my kind of people. Wish I could have been there to watch those ignots crumble. But I'm just happy they're off my tail. Then again, facing them down might have put my tin can into overdrive. Thanks to you, I'll live to fight another day. And get this bloody thing tuned up. Okay, I actually still hey, need to soldier. talk. Hey, soldier. Uh... <coughs> um, I'm gonna no room do this. Your party. What should I do? Uh, replace the stereo. <laughs> now we're talking. Because I have to level you up, hun. <laughs> Making me sweat. Barbarian level six. She went up to 65 hit points. She got a class feature. Additional rage. More times per long rest. Gain to passive, change bestial heart. To passive animal aspect. Oh, what's that? So bestial heart, this is the one. Yeah, eagle heart because it lets her. The diving strike is nice, but the really thing I liked about this was she could use a dash as a bonus action. 
which means she can do a dash and then get all of her attacks in. So that's why I keep keeping that. Some of these were neat, but I don't think, I think that's going to be the most important one for me. In an animal aspect. Double and you gain advantage on strength checks. Let's fix the rare strength. Mischievous. <laughs> you gain resistance to falling damage. And throwing camp supplies blinds targets. <laughs> oh, these are fun. Crocodile. Uh, the aspects of the crowd is your agility in water. Movement speed increases by 10 feet while standing on a water-based surface. Advantage on saving throws against being knocked out prone. Respect to the eagle. See in the dark up to 40 feet. Gain advantage on perception checks. This is out giving yourself nearby allies extra movement speed. Makes you move faster. If you're poisoned, frightened, or charmed, at the start of your turn, you have a 50% chance to begin raging without expending a rage charge. Okay. Dashing grants you temporary hit points, equal to twice your barbarian level. Well, that's not bad. You add an additional strength modifier to attack rolls against bleeding or poison targets, and gain proficiency in survival. Wolf. Aspect of the wolf boosts your stealthiness. Proficiency in stealth and can use Aspect of the Wolf. Okay. Wolverine! I grant you the tools to relentlessly pursue your prey. When you attack a bleeding or poison target, you gain, also gain maim for one turn. These are all so good. Self and nearby allies to gain speed. Kind of like the bear. Advantage on her strength checks. She's already got a good strength check, which means any strength checks that we do, she's going to be really good at. Oh, getting extra speed isn't bad either for everybody. Can I change this as I go up in levels? Uh, doesn't really tell me. Oh boy, if this is going to be a one-time pick, it's that could be important. We've got speed potions and haste spells. I think the chimpanzee is just hilarious. Throwing camp supplies blinds people. Uh, she's going to dash a lot. She'll get extra hit points. I think it's either one of the speed ones. This one would turn her into a Raging without using a rage charge. Or the bear. I don't know, this might be a one time chance. If it's a one time chance I want it I want advantage on strength checks, because things are only gonna get worse as we go in, right? So she'll take the bear. Alright, uh, here we go. She's done. Back to me, now I gotta go to get talk to Gale. I'm gonna take Gale up a level. Walking freely out of a Githyanki crash. A miracle if ever I've seen one. And trust me, I've seen quite a few. <laughs> uh I do need to ha take oh, some time to talk to all these would people. Give me so. greater pleasure. Which of our esteemed company am I stepping in for? Uh, right now, it's going to be Carlac. Back in the thick of things at last. Oh, how exciting! Okay, and I gotta go level you up, Gale. Around, so might as well. 
Goes to wizard level six. Got a class feature. Got a third level spell slot. Subclass feature. Come harder to evade entirely. When a creature touch succeeds at a saving throw against one of your cantrips, it still takes half the cantrip's damage, but suffers no additional effects. And he picked up two spells. Got ten prepared spells, so that didn't change. Can you pick up some more spells? Uh, what do I got here? Snow Curse, Animate Dead, Counter Spell, Fear, Vain Death, Grant Flight, Gaseous Form, Haste. That might be a good spell to have in my pocket. Right? That one might be a good one. Lightning Bolt. Shoot from energy. Remove curse. Sleet Storm. Stinking Cloud. Empiric Touch. Arcane Lock. And Knock. Misty Step. I'm going to give him a Amulet that lets him miss the step, so that's not. It's invisibility. I think we have a spell, a scroll of that. Grave Enfeeblement. I know we have scrolls of some of this stuff. Ah. Uh. Opened with knock. It's just for mundane locks. It's probably not worth it. Uh, do I want a crowd control? Just to concentrate on it, but I think they get a saving throw, probably against their constitution. do any damage. Protection from energy. Do you have to pick? Or is that all damage? Damn, doesn't tell me. I'm dead. I'm not into that. Fear. Pain death. Flight, that's just form. Haste. Oh, I think haste is a no-brainer. I have a scroll, I think, of lightning. Do I want to take a protection spell here? Uh, I don't know what to take. I really don't know what to take. I only get ten spells, and one of them gets used up by mage armor. Uh, <sighs> preventing creatures from taking actions could, like, get some people that are far away so I can shoot them with my bow. Curses and hexes. I wonder if I'm going to run into those. Do I ever remove curse spell? I don't know what I have in my uh, in my thing to take. Doesn't protect me from radiant.
So that's kind of a, what cursor you're going to throw at it. This stops people from casting spells at me. I'm thinking Stinking Cloud. Because that's sort of a crowd control. Of course, if they aren't subject to that, it's not going to help, is it? Oh dear, what do I do? It's a concentration spell. None of these are rituals, right? Increase your armor class by five, you take no damage from magic missiles for one turn. So that's not really useful. It's a reaction spell. Uh, this, if the Sleet Storm did like at least a little bit of damage, I'd be happy with it, but it just puts out fires, messes up people have to make concentration spells, and then I'm going to have to do something. I guess I'll go with this concentration as well. With concentration as well. I guess we'll go with Stinking Cloud. Okay. Molten Cantrip. Creature success saves and it takes half their hand traps damage even if they save. Okay. Those are his items. Okay. Um, I guess that's what we're going to take there. And then I want to go check his spell book. Cloud dagger. Mage armor, yes. Traditious retreat. Witch bolt. Magic missile. Find familiar cheeky closet. Ice knife. I think I'm going to get rid of Expeditious Retreat. I'm going to add Haste. Because I've got Haste and Slow, so I can slow them on one turn, Haste somebody on our turn. So I can target up to six creatures there, but I can only target myself or an ally to become hastened. Gain an action, become faster, and gain two armor class. So it's like I can do that on, like, whoever the fighter is or on the ranger and have them just unload bunches of times. Right? Okay. That's what we'll do for the book. Be done there. Now the question is, is do I want to take Gale or do I want to take Will? I've been taking Will. Uh, where is Will? Is he up here? Well, we went through the crash with Will. I guess we'll go back to Will. By all means. No, not you, all Gale. Way. Can't give up now. Let's go talk Good to Will. For a chat. My first tour of the Githyanki crash. Memorable, to be certain, but the service left something to be desired. <laughs> Okay. Right. I'd love to join, but I don't think there's enough space for me to squeeze in. Yeah, you'll replace Gale for now. Let's make this happen. Okay. Did I get 
get experience points just for talking to him? I'm confused. Okay. And now he's made it ready. So he's still only got two third level spell slots. I thought he picked up a spell slot when I leveled him up. It doesn't look like he did. Just disheartening. Huh. I really don't know what I'm doing here. She's gonna lose this. She'll get back all her spells. I guess we double check her spell book. Let's check her spell book. Let's see, I've got Glyph of Warding, Spirit Guardians, Blindness, Spiritual Weapon, Silence, Command, Bus, Healing Word, which is a bonus action thing, Guiding Bolt. If somebody, if she hits somebody, she can do something about it. Cure wounds. Um, which does she have? Protection from energy. She had this. It's only for ten turns, huh? Enemy dead. Mass healing word. Does it have an area of effect? It's not real careful with telling me what I'm doing. I definitely want to keep these two. I have an awful lot of first level spells here. I'd like to have a protection from energy just in case. There's nothing here that protects me from psychic stuff. Alright, uh, let's get rid of that one. I guess I'm going to take a protection spell. Protection from energy. Okay. That's that. Now I need to, I think, rest. Where am I? So I think we just need to rest here. Oh, I was going to do some inventory checks. Did I do any inventory management here? I know what I wanted to look for. Um, did I get... Uh, who has it? But she's gonna, it's just a long sword. Did I? Did I sell it? I noticed in my one of my videos earlier that I had, I had picked up a ceremonial long sword and a ceremonial hammer, and there was a ceremonial back, well, battle axe. I'm wondering if I have. Um, ceremonial weapons. Doomhammer. It's a sword of justice. Did I sell those? Did I sell those off? Did 
Did I sell those off? Um, I have a big, huge backpack here I need to look into. Because there's lots of stuff in here. Ceremonial mace. A ceremonial mace. I don't have the ceremonial long sword. Or great sword. Do I? Knife of the Undermountain King. Oh, maybe I need to give that to, uh, what's his name? fingers jump this might be something I put on me because my uh, mark enemy is concentration it would always give me temporary hit points I don't see them in here so I didn't sell them to her but have that Where I picked up a, a sword. <sighs> There's one. No, that's the Doom Hammer. So I don't see any ceremonial weapons here. I remember picking up, there was a ceremonial mace, and there was a ceremonial sword I picked up. I thought I did it. But I don't see it in my list of stuff. Crossbow of Uncane Force. I could give that to Carlac. Why don't we do that? Let's give that to Carlac. Okay. Um, I swear I picked up a long sword. Or great sword. I don't know which one it was. Why is this one not highlighted? Is that actually... Doesn't tell me where I got it from, huh? Well, that's kind of disappointing. I know I picked up that longsword off that dais, or whatever it was, and now I can't find the ceremonial longsword. 
Um, who has the mace? Did I give that to her? Or is that in that backpack? Must be in that backpack. Right? Let's double check. Uh... Great swords. I don't see any long sword or ceremonial anything. Uh, where's that really big backpack? So we've got a ceremonial mace, fender flail, that's not a bad thing to have. Crossbows. Great sword, great sword. It's not showing me. Any kind of ceremonial anything. Although I do have a Githyanki great sword that's not highlighted green. So does that mean this is uh, something special? I don't know why that one's not green. It doesn't. I don't understand why that one's not green like all the other magical weapons. I swear I picked up a ceremonial longsword. But now I can't find it. Ah, <sighs> I lost it somewhere. The ceremonial was right there, so I didn't get it to her. Who the heck has the ceremonial longsword? Okay, I've got too much in my pack here. So I need to put all these ridiculous number of weapons. That stuff needs to go over here. Right, because I've got too much stuff here. All this stuff, which I read offline, I need to put in my book. Bucket. Just been putting these things here. Put all this in there. Much more information. Here, cantrips deals acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder. Edge spellcasting modifier. So that might be one they put on Gale, I guess. Uh, 
I'm not sure who should be wearing these things. I just don't know how they interact with everything. I don't really need the Beastmaster's chain. I'm going to be carrying that around. That I'm going to put on me because I concentrate on my my thing spell. I might go to Gale. Inflict a condition. I'm not sure about that one. This one is... If I put that on her, she gets plus one on her saving throw. Or checks or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't need all this armor either. And I think I wanted to try this with me. Because I get lots of extra damage with that down the road as I go. Lots of spell casting stuff. I don't need all these extra daggers and torches. I have a lot of stuff that I need to, like, distribute out amongst people that are wandering around with me. Uh, so I can't find that uh, ceremonial long sword. Unless that's what this is. Alright, uh... I have lots of campaign stuff. Campaign stuff I have very much of. So I just throw that in this thing. I even got more stuff here. Lemon can go in there, and cheese can go in there, and these two things can go in there, that can go in there, that can go in there, poor coin, any other food things here? I have a bunch of magic items. I just don't know who should be using what. Alright, let's, uh... Sort this by type again. It says that it's a Githyanki longsword, but it's not highlighted green. I wonder if that's actually supposed to be the ceremonial thing. Because ceremonial should be up there, and I don't have it. Did I just lose it forever? Oh man. That's a bummer if I lost it forever. Oh, she doesn't need to carry all this. Oh, she doesn't need to carry the books either. What's her? I need to carry these books. Let's get this. Come on. Now this thing. I don't need to carry that around either. I really don't need to sell a lot of this stuff quite yet. Carrying a bunch of food. Where's my food bag? So she can grab all this and throw it in here. Okay. So clean that up. I need to spread these potions out to other people. Okay. So I've got a ceremonial mace, but I don't have the ceremonial longsword or greatsword. I can't remember which one it was. I do have one sword here that's not showing up the right color. 
So I think I'm going to keep that one. And I'm going to keep the ceremonial mace. For now. I might pop back here once I get to that other lady. Maybe I sell it to her? I don't know. I don't know why I don't have that ceremonial longsword or whatever it was. I just have the ceremonial mace. Okay. Alright. Oh, uh, that's enough of that. Well, that's me. What's my time? 41 minutes. I need to stop. Um, we will Let's get out of here. All right, we will rest next time. See if there's any cutscenes. Usually when I hear myself being referred to as we need to do something, that it's usually time for us to rest and we're going to have some cutscenes and things. So that's what we're going to do next time. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. You really like, see, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notify bell. Be notified, upload videos, and schedule streams. Sorry about doing all the inventory stuff there, but I... I saw that in one of my previous videos that I had, there was some kind of ceremonial sword that I picked up off of a, a platform thing, and now I don't seem to have it, so I'm worried that I've somehow lost it during doing my saves and stuff. And if I did, that's very disappointing and that I won't be able to uh, recover it and be able to do something with it. Because I'm wondering if those things, there was four of them, I wonder if there's, because I saw a ceremonial battle axe with that guardian. And if I can get all this, if there's four ceremonial weapons, maybe, and I have to put them someplace, I don't know. Probably something for a future playthrough, but we'll go see what I can see. All right, I'm John608. Until we meet again, stay safe, and bye-bye.